We're on the 18th day of the cycle, and Julia says no more to Albert. Tell him what's up, Jules. Tell him what's up. Who's my good girl? Good girl. Albert says, come on, baby. She's in rejection mode. She tied twice on the 11th and 12th day, 42 hours after her LH surge. Now, this one read the book. She read Mar Dr. Margaret Coots. This is my good girl, Jill. Don't let him lick those ears. Tell him it's over with. I don't want to hear the bargain all night. Good girl, Jules. Good girl. Yep. Good girl, Jules. You figuring it out? Ah. Uh, she's through with you, Alp. She's through with you, Albert. She got what she wanted. Julia, come on. Come on, Julia. Julia's ready to go back inside where she lives. Come on, Jules. Come on. Hand. Hand. I don't want you, but she don't want you. I was just, come on. We had such a good thing together. Why, baby, why, baby? Why make me cry, baby? You gonna go jump in the water again? He's been so disgusted, he's been jumping in the water, taking himself a bath, trying to cool off. Mother Nature at its finest. Free breeding here at Hunterson Farms. Kind of like free range chickens. We don't use any hormone shots or x rays. We either have dogs that can breed or we don't breed them. And he's a superstar, just like Hunter, just like Dave. This guy's a real good working stud. He just can't stand it when they say no to him. He has a hard time with the no, doesn't he, Jules? Uh, doesn't he, pretty Jules? He has a hard time saying no. You just ain't buying it, are you out? Huh? A little romance into the years there. She wanna let him do that earlier. Kind of likes the affection on the cool. <coughs> so you have to let him go through this process, or your stud will be keeping you up all night long barking. This guy broke out of his kennel inside of another portion of the house where we keep hounds. So he got out of his crate and out of that room in there where you see that plywood, that old plywood, we need to change it. Screen door, that all closes. It's a room for him at night. Came over here, dug up underneath the fence, 
Now we got to do there with that tearing himself up I don't know so he could go around to the front and in between the fence where the wood fence is going and the building and was hollering at her at the front not a scratch on him but he does have a swollen nose and if he don't quit messing around with her he's going to have a bit nose you got him straight yet because I'm going to be up all night with the barking again uh huh? Got him straight, Judges? He still looks like he's very interested in what's going on right now. What's wrong, Bird Miss? Uh huh? <laughs> I'm filming the whole little scenario. Teaching people this 17th day. And they tied on the 11th and 12th day, 42 hours after the LA surge. I told them that this one read Margaret, Dr. Kuntz's book. Oh, yeah. She gets a bath tomorrow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. After breeding bath, we'll probably put some nice smell smell on you so the, you can come inside the house on the 21st day. Tomorrow's 18, three more days, can you make it, girl? You don't know what he's gonna do. You're gonna be with the squirrel sisters hunting squirrels. This is over, buddy. So the female's not gonna hurt the male. Something you don't have to worry about. As a general rule, there's exceptions to the rule. You would think the way she sounds, she's gonna tear them up, but nothing. Now, if you were breeding somebody else's dog, you'd have to completely separate them. Then it can turn into a dog fight. Cost you a bunch of money. Unless you know how to do the suturing and antibiotics by yourself. But if you are a breeder and been breeding a while, you should know how to do those things. That's it, folks, from Hunters and Farms. That's Prince Albert, the ever ready battery. Are you begging? Are you gonna bow? Mm -hmm. You gonna bow? You gonna beg for her? What kind of flies are hopping on you from his little saliva? He says you can't touch this. Bert, you can't touch this. Not the beautiful jewels. All right, folks, next time, as a breeding at Hunterson Farms.